Rise and Shine on Australia's Vision Christian Radio. We've got so many things in my head. I've got to remember, I'm Fel, you're Robbo. That's right. And then we've got Pastor Sam with us in the studio as well. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. This is wonderful to have you come in. Always love it, but you haven't met Robbo before. That's right, yes, Robbo it's the first Sam, time that we Sam met. Robbo. I've heard you on the radio uh, okay. listening at home. but uh, yeah, I've to... heard of you and heard you, Robbo. <laughs> so lovely to meet you. Yes, likewise. So we're keen to hear from you this morning. I know that you always come in and share a little uh, devotional thought, but do you want to talk about Scripture memory uh, yes. today, which is such an important thing, isn't it, for the Christian life? I think it really is. So, um, we, you know, obviously we do talk about Scripture each week and, yeah. and why we get into Scripture. But one of the main ways that Christians ought to, I think, get into Scripture yeah. is by memorizing Scripture. And it's something that, you know, uh, we were just talking briefly before that we do do when we're in Sunday school. Mm-hmm. If you grow up in the church, yes. you have your memory verse and you yep. get your sticker and, you know, you get a little prize and what yep. have you. I used to get 20 cents when if you got the memory verse really? right. Yes. I was, Jeez, it was, your church was very, very I was, rich. I was very cash. motivated, very <laughs> motivated. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So then that, that, there's the good question. Why do we drop off after? Sunday school, is yeah. it the lack of stickers and 20 cent pieces? <laughs> is like, well, now why would I do it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, actually, there's really good reasons. And it's been a significant part of my own um, spiritual life, I think. I was, I remember distinctly being about 12 years old. I was, I'm the youngest of four boys. So I was always sharing a room, just going through the, yeah. the older three, sharing a room. <laughs> I was with my oldest brother at the time, who was, I think, a second year apprentice builder. Um, he's not, not a pastor, he's, he's been a builder his whole life. Um, but he committed himself to memorizing scripture while I was in the room with him. Wow. You know, wow. staying in the room with him. And not just like little verses. He was he was memorizing chunks. Okay. Wow. And I honestly can't it'll be you know, the Lord knows the signif- the significance of that impact of hearing my older brother who I really looked mm. up to, he's a very wow. godly man still today. Mm. Um memorizing and going over and mm. hearing him going over and over scripture. And I, it was the first time I remember just sinking into my brain, Philippians one twenty one. for to me to live is Christ, to die is gain. Mm. I just remember even as a, as a 12-year-old going, wow, that's 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 like yeah. a life verse. That's right. <laughs> that's really yeah. punchy. That's That gives me, uh, you know, purpose for my life and my death. To yeah. live is Christ, to die is gain, and so scripture memorization. I think it's like it's it's really important. Um, it, it's it's very helpful. You think of the different times where you don't have a Bible in front of you, yeah, which is a lot of your working yeah. life mm. uh, as you're driving, as you wh- wh- whatever you're doing to have memory uh, uh, scripture that is memorized in your mind, in our hearts, hidden away mm. that we can draw on in different moments. Yeah. I mean, it's so helpful. Mm. Mm. Um, so I think sometimes we can think, man, why why would I do that? Why would I? Or you might even think one of the I think the, the pushbacks might be, I've got a terrible memory. <laughs> sure, know? and I can relate. I have a shocking memory. Mm-hmm. I can up I can one up your bad memory every time. <laughs> uh, but the best way I think then is to flip it and to go. That's why I need to memorize scripture. Yeah, that's right. I have a bad memory. That's why I need to. S- s- commit all of these things into my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm shocking with names, so I have to commit those things. I have to have a disciplined way. Yeah. And so maybe we can talk a bit more about mm. the how and, the, and a bit more about the why in a moment. Yeah, yeah too right. Sounds very good. Well, of course, one way is yes. uh, the treasury projects. That's something that we do here at Vision because obviously you know, we are very committed to uh, memorizing scripture. So that's yeah. a, a key thing. But yeah, let's talk some more about that. You're on Rise and Shine with Fel. Robo, and we've got Pastor Sam. And Pastor Sam, you're talking about the importance of placing God's word in your heart so it can rise up, memorizing scripture. I remember in my life, there was a moment, one of those, you know, those sliding door moments where you're like, this is a moment or how I respond to the situation will determine the future. And um, it was really a devastating time. And I remember I could have responded in the flesh, but all I could think of was, this rising up and so strong. Love is patient. Love is kind. Mm-hmm. And it came over and over again. Love is patient. Love is kind. As a result, I had to respond that way. I still had a choice. I could have responded mm-hmm. how anyone else would, but as I chose to respond with that love of mm. Christ, it wasn't a lot of scripture, no. but that tiny piece of scripture has actually meant that my life today is so different from how it could have been if I'd responded any other way. It didn't take a lot of scripture, but mm. having that in my memory, having that for, for the Holy Spirit to be able to draw on actually made a huge difference in my world. 
Yeah, and drawing that connection that you just did with the Word and the Holy Spirit, because yeah. the Word is the sword of the Spirit. It's That's part of right. our spiritual armor. Yeah. yeah. And so putting on our armor must, I think, include some levels of memory, yeah. memorization and, and knowing it so that it's, it's, it's ready for us to kind of pull out, you yes. know, like a sword. In those in, in particular moments, yeah. um, I think of the Lord Jesus Himself. He's getting <laughs> yes. tempted in the wilderness, yeah. and He doesn't have a seem to have a Bible with Him. No, <laughs> it's unlikely <laughs> at that it's point. Very <laughs> unlikely, and um, and yet, how does He fight temptation? Yeah, how does He do it? Because the devil's coming. Mm-hmm. What will you use? Yeah, even the Lord Jesus Himself um, draws on yeah. promises in Scripture, yeah. and and fights off the the devil. I think hundred percent. It is written. Yeah, it is written. And so there it is. You need There's to know what's answer. written. <laughs> um, Psalm 119 verse 11 says, I have stored up your word in my heart yeah. that I might not sin against you. Mm. And so there you go. It, like why memorize scripture? One good reason is actually just your own holiness. Mm. I'm storing it up yeah. so that I won't sin. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to fight sin. Think of moments where I'm discipling brothers and sisters and they're bringing different concerns and different anxieties and different um, uh, sufferings, what what can I offer them in that mm. moment? I, I, I want to be able to be of best use, and I'm going to be of best use not if I'm just offering my own wisdom and my own thoughts and my own history, although some of that can be helpful. What's best, of course, will be God's word, yeah, exactly. God's mm. promises to you. Mm-hmm. That's right. I want to have that in my heart so that I can not just be a blessing to myself but be a blessing to others as yeah. well. And so, uh, yeah, the, the the Hebrew word for meditate is actually, and, and you know it from Psalm one. It's yeah. the it's the wise person meditates on the word, of the, the law of God, mm. day and night. And the word for meditate is like mutter. It's yeah. it's, it's speak, mm. and that is what you're essentially doing in memorization. You are speaking it. You are muttering it. You're saying it over and over and over again because memorization. Like, let's talk about how to do it. I I, I don't think there's like a super easy way, except. Mm. Going over and yeah. over yeah. and over, and and I find just small chunks at a time. So one one moment, um, we were preaching through the Sermon on the Mount, and I thought, well, we do we generally preach in small chunks. I'll just memorize that chunk after that chunk after that chunk. I've got it's 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 achievable mm. little portions each week, and you could get through the Sermon on the Mount. And what a uh, yeah. So there, there's an encouragement. Yeah. It's, it's committing to it, doing it bit by bit, chunks achievable yeah. chunks. Um, and memorizing small verses, and you'll be surprised how much you can memorize if yeah. you really, really can. No, it's so it. true. Well, that's it. Repetition is the is the key. You're on Rise and Shine on Vision, and I've got Robbo with me today, and also here, Pastor Sam. We're talking about memorizing scripture, so mm. close to my heart. It is right. something that you do as a kid. And I grew up, everyone knows who's been listening along to a lot of Salty, the singing songbook oh, and yes, uh, yes. kids' songs. <laughs> so I think for me that was actually one of those critical areas of mm. memorising scripture. So many kids' songs contain music. What about though as an adult? What should we be doing? There are even adult songs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, no, I think um, like we say, it is that – so even if you just have a pattern, a rhythm where you go, okay, this is my verse for today. So, like, for example, Romans 8 is, I think, 40 verses long. You could go, okay, for the next 40 days, I think it's 39 verses, something like that. I'll just do one verse a day. Mm -hmm. I'll repeat it, right? I'll say it out loud 10 times. I'll then try and say it off by heart 10 times. And there it is. Before you know it, you Mm -hmm. know, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Well, that's a great thing. You say that 10 times and you're excited anyway. I think you'll pretty much have it, you know, (laughs) without the kind of laboring. But one of the beauties of that is, and, and one way that I, I, me and my kids have, have learnt different things and tried to memorise, like catechisms and that, is as we memorise it, emphasising a different word each time. Right. Yeah. So and, and it does help you, again, meditate because you're noticing every word. Yeah. Mm. So for, there is now no condemnation. Yeah. For there is now, you know, yes. now no condemnation. There is now no condemnation. For those who, you know, and, and, and yeah. so just going it over and over and over and mulling it over in your mind. Obviously, as you go through the, a whole chapter, that, that might take more time throughout the day. But still, um, not as big a amount of time, I mm. think, as we maybe we think. But if we give ourselves 10 minutes a day, we're amazed how much scripture ends up in our minds That's and right. our hearts. Yeah. And I guess it builds, doesn't it? Because if you're doing that, you know, a verse a day, then obviously over that 
40 days, you actually are going to be able to memorize the whole yeah, you will. passage. And so then, it, yeah, that's committed to memory. And as you were saying, Phil, I mean, the Holy Spirit can bring that back, you know, at a moment's notice. You just think, it's amazing. You know, incredible how that just com- comes into your mind and think, oh, that's what I just needed right then. Yep, 100%. Yeah. Yep. Is that the the chapter that you're uh, memorizing at the moment, Romans eight, or what? What are you actually working on yourself? Yeah, I will, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, mm-hmm. Romans eight. Pastor Sam, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks so much, Robert. Good to have you with us. Thanks, Phil. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.